This all started with an arson investigation in Eureka Springs late last year. When that suspect was brought in, he started telling investigators that he was stealing things for a Cherokee County man. And when that warrant was served, more than $200,000 in stolen property was recovered. They're really organized. Um, we've got a lot of money uh, exchanging hands. Um, you know, they're, their organization and their boldness is something we haven't seen before. You know, they're, they're, they were openly displaying a lot of this stuff. Cherokee County Under Sheriff Jason Chenault says this massive investigation started when his agency went to the home of Richard Bassnett. They're going to arrest him for allegedly hiring this man, Jason Sears, to burn down a motel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, a motel that was competing with one that Bassnett owns there. Deputies quickly figured out that property at Bassnett's home was allegedly stolen from Missouri and Arkansas. They recovered even more loot when they searched a family member's property in two storage buildings. They say they found stolen guns, industrial mowers, and seven trailers, including this one that contains a red Corvette. These statues that police say were stolen from a resort were displayed in Bassnett's yard. Bassnett was arrested along with his wife, Joe Ashing, and son, Devin. Chenault says they face multiple state and federal charges. From what we have gathered, Mr. Bassnett would make an order to Sears for what he wanted to, to Jason Sears. Jason Sears would go out and find it and steal it and bring it back to him. Thirteen tailgates from new trucks were also recovered. Valued at as much as $3,000 each, Chenault says Jason Sears would steal them from dealerships and Bassnet would sell them online. Now tomorrow, another suspect from Missouri will be here in Tahlequah taking a look at some of this stolen property to see if he can help Cherokee County investigators figure out where some of these things came from. Reporting from Tahlequah, Casey Robach, 2 News, works for you.